So I got awakened by lots of chicken noises. So we yesterday we picked up six chickens. They're like ex free range chickens, but they've finished their laying. Anyway, so we put them in this little got an old pen here. Um, because we have two chickens already. So this is the big pen, which needs a bit of updating for many chickens. So we've got one little, um, can you see that's Beanie? She's a little, um, fluffy chicken. We had two, there's a bit of a story behind that one. Go into that later. And then we've got one red chicken. We had lots more, but the red chickens just over time disappeared. Anyway, I heard this noise and I thought, oh my God, they're being attacked. So I ran down and then absolutely had a huge panic because look, I'll show you what happened. So I saw this hole. Can you see that? There's a hole in the wire. And this bucket that used to be there has clearly been wrecked by the sun, it's collapsed. And six chickens? No, no chickens. And there was one chicken running around. So, oh my God, we've had these chickens. First night they've all been killed or something. But no, found them. They were under the house. So I think they have made this hole. They've trod on this bucket, it's collapsed, broken. They've all escaped. I think Gertrude, my other chicken, was like talking to them. So I don't know if to leave them running around or to put them in the pen. I think I was gonna try and put them in the pen. Although Beanie, the little fluffy chalk, she's silky. She's a bit concerned, but thank God the six chickens have found themselves. So, okay, we went for four, but they obviously have loads of chickens. They're trying to be home. We had quite a big box. The lady was like, you have room for way more than four. I'm like, oh mm, God. So anyway, we've got six. We've got names for four. We need to come up with two more names. So I call all of my chickens, old lady names. So in the past I've had Beryl, Henrietta, Margaret, but Penny, it's not very old. Um, Penny, Dotty, Betty, we had a black Betty. We've had a, Beryl was black. Um, so anyway, I think we've decided uh, some names, but we'll come up with those later when we figured out like how to recognize them. So now we've got a cat prowling. Pudding, I'm gonna try and put these chickens away. This is not helpful. Look how cute they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, good girls. Clever girls. So it does just show you, like, even though I think these girls are about 18 months old, that's when they start to, like, rehome them. So they're really, like, well-farmed chickens, they're called. Um, they're from these people called the Grazing Girls. And they are, so you guys should check them out, Grazing Girls and Glen Eagle. And they're free-range laying hens. But they're still, I guess, in, a, you know, they're amongst loads of loads of other chickens. So they still, you know, get affected, like... These guys still need to grow proper feathers. Um, but we should have loads of years out of them laying. I mean, I say loads of years. Chickens don't really live loads of years. They get heart problems and all this sort of thing. But hopefully they'll be around for a while. Like Gertrude, who never dies. Gertrude, ugh. yeah. She's well and truly had like nine lives. Now to figure out what to do with these chickens. Beanie, I'm not sure this is a good idea. I don't want to trap you in there with the other chickens. She's talking to them through the cage. She's pretty smart. Check on sticks if there's any eggs. It's all right, darling. So we need to make some more of these little beds. So they're milk crates with little buckets inside. And then they love them. And look, they've got a little perch. No eggs. We'll try and get these other chickens in here somehow. Bloody chicken herding is impossible. They can't escape the broom, so that kind of works in my favour. 
but I've lost one. I've got five in. One bucket off. Thankfully, my chickens have come out. So they can just like get used to it on their own till later and Gertrude and Beanie want to go in. This wasn't quite how I planned to do it, but I don't know how else to do it. At least they're secure in there. They can have some food and chill out for a bit. And now I've got to get this random one. Pest. It's down in the, um... Oh, God, she's in the middle of the bloody horse yard. Better go save her. There's a lonesome chicken with Storm. Storm's like, what the actual shit is that? Come on, Chucky! Hey, Chucky! <coughs> so... A wall chicken, numero sex. She was in the paddock with Storm. Storm was chasing her. Storm, I just saw chasing Ibis as well. He does not like anyone. Um, he chases the dogs. He chases. Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, I herded her with my magical herding skills up towards the chickens. I think my best bet is catching her because if I let out those five chickens that I got in by letting one stupid A wall chicken in, I'll be seriously pissed. So I'm thinking, herd her into the stable and then pick her up. Hmm, I really should just wake Phoebe up and get her to help me. This was meant to be like, not a lion morning, but I was like, okay, well, we'll get up at seven and start feeding. Well, I was up at five. No. Well, I was awake at five. Thought, I'll just go on my phone for a minute and go back to sleep. 5.30. I've now been out nearly an hour herding these chickens. I seriously need a coffee. Well deserved by this point. It's actually nice and cool, thankfully, running around in my pajamas. Oh, you would have seen them on the herding. Uh, anyway, I need to think of a name because this one's a naughty one. So we've got to be able to recognize the naughty AWOL chicken. I want to call her AWOL, but we can't. That's stupid. Okay, let's see if we can get her in the stable. <laughs> It was a failed mission. This chicken is quick and stupid. So I'm gonna go make myself coffee and then perhaps when Phoebe wakes up, we'll try second operation chicken. Benji and Theo keep playing. Shoe fence, look at them. Oh, Theo, your task, the bum. Benji wonders why his rug gets ripped or Phoebe wonders. This is because he does this over the fence. And then everyone grabs his rug. Theo's face got ripped. Wonder who did that. Hence why he's in no rug at the moment. Where's Jet? Jet's there being a good boy. Ibis in Benji's poo pile. Look how smart he is. Look how tidy he is with his poo. One pile. <laughs> Um, bottle until she flipped and pulled off the lid and nearly swallowed it. God, Jesus. So, anyway, oh, me and Foxy are matching. Foxy are matching. We have well and truly lost a chicken. That was enough. So, now I'm on Miss Foxy. Do the same with her. A bit boring doing 
poles, 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 poles. I might uh, not do poles on the next few and do poles on them tomorrow. So I've ridden Woody as well. I actually got Phoebe on. It's quite funny. Woody's quite hard to ride because he's quite a tricky off the track. He's very inflexible. Um, doesn't really move off the leg. He's not straight. He's and he's lazy, which isn't typical for thoroughbred. Um, he's been on Oz treatment to try and make sure that that's not an issue. Um, today he was quite funny. He was quite humpy and um, yeah, it was kind of getting annoyed if we if I asked him to move off my leg or do anything. So anyway, I'd been sort of saying to Phoebe, um, it. I really wanted to get her on a few of these off the tracks because she watches me ride around and probably wonders why I'm whinging or, you know, when I'm saying, oh, they're tricky and she's thinking, no, they're not. They look easy, look. So anyway, I got her on Woody. That was funny. I got a bit of a video. I'll see if she'll let me post it. What have I got on my face? I don't know what that is. All right. So I'm on Miss Luna. I'm not going to do too much today. Just a bit of stretching, some trot poles. Um, and then we're going to head out in and have some lunch and then we've only got two more horses to work um, so we've had we've done six we have still lost the chicken no chicken update for you um, yeah doing pretty well yeah good girl keep that outside rain that's it inside rain inside rain keep his neck straight yeah, inside leg, hold the outside rein wide. Set inside leg. Inside leg, push him forwards. That's it, keep it against his neck, keep the contact, inside leg again. Hold the outside rein wide, inside rein on his neck, inside leg, inside rein a bit. lost one chicken I have no idea where it's gone I have looked in the back paddock in the gully I feel really terrible actually um, we keep looking I've messaged my neighbor because she has chickens and and maybe it will hear her chickens and go over there I really hope we find it like I can't believe it's just disappeared off the face of the earth oh, goody darling no, no sign of Mrs. Missing. no Thank you.